Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Alright, you know how excessive I am. Now is the time to pay for that excessiveness in that I have a shit ton of cardboard boxes in here that need to be cut down so that I can get them into the garbage in time. So I'm just going to start throwing them all down here so that you can see how ridiculous this is. Although I am going to save these boxes for the lenses just in case Adorama does me wrong. Without further ado, this actually isn't even that bad compared to like what I had done after the Christmas period where you saw me do all this, but I got to carve all this stuff up, but I still have that gym thing in there that I haven't put together yet. How lazy am I? All right, let's do this. Okay, that sucked. I hate having to do that. You'd think I would break the boxes down as I get them, but I never do. Okay, so that's it. Whew, how many months of that? I think I did this in February, maybe January, I don't know. It's several months worth of boxes. All broken down now, ready for the garbage man to come and pick it up. And that's it. Now, let's get on with the rest of the day. All right, kids, it's time to go get lunch. I thought that I would go get us bagels. I'm in a little bit better of a mood today and I am going to go out and sort of repeat the tests that I did yesterday. Trusting in my gear, I do have the ND filter on anyways just so I make sure that I have everything kosher so to speak and when I filmed the stuff in the garage I, apparently I forgot to plug in the MKE 200 and because I have it tucked so well it didn't look like it was unplugged so I went in and I listened to it and I thought okay that sounds all right and then I realized it was the internal mic <laughs> so now I do have the MKE 200 hooked up I'm driving windows down because I want to know what it does as far as picking up the outside noises of all this traffic and the road noise and the wind and all that shit and we'll see what it sounds like No shortage of uh, super exhausty type noise, right? Also, if you couldn't tell, I took my hair off and, and I shaved and everything. I realize at this point that I just cannot wait to grow my hair out to dirty hippie length. I hate every stage in between. If I can't just push a lever like on Play-Doh and make it long immediately, I'm just not interested. Plus, it's gonna be hot as balls out soon, and that's gonna bug the shit out of me. And all this stuff was bugging me too because I can't grow a manly beard. So I just decided to trim it all down, and there you go. Now I have manageable facial hair. I have enough facial hair, though, that my wife is happy because she hates it when I take off a lot of facial hair. So everybody's happy, we're good to go. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. I guess I can see it almost peaking. It is a very gorgeous day out though, I will say that. After I'm done with lunch, I have another stupid team call at 2.30, impromptu team call, so I gotta do that. Once that's done, I'm going to probably head back to Great Neck Park and walk around. I think I got it all figured out. I de definitely have it figured out as far as like I had to turn up the volume. Although again, I think I might've turned it up too loud. So that, you know, the gain in the camera. So I might have to lower that a little bit because it's always better that if it's just a little bit low compared to it being too high because then 
you know, you can get rid of the clips, but then all the other stuff is too low. So, okay, that's enough of that. Time for food. All right, kids, we're back at Great Neck Park. I'm gonna try this again. I'm in a better mood. It's gorgeous out. There's a, like a party going on over there and they're grilling. And as soon as I opened the door to the Forerunner, it smacked me and was like, ha, ah, oh, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna do my little walk of test here through my usual path. I have the camera now set to, of course it's on manual mode. I have it set to 1 640th F4. The, the ISO is auto, so it's jumping all over the place between 4,000 and 5,000. I have an ND filter on, which I only have it up to, let's see, minimum one, two, three notches up. It's a KNF variable ND filter. And I have image stabilization turned off, constant autofocus, auto white balance. And of course, I'm using fake S Cinetone. And also, I have the Sennheiser MKE 200, and that's on, plugged in. It's working. See? Okay. I autofocus, it's tracking me. And let's start this. So I am going to run this particular segment of the video through Catalyst Browse. Obviously, that's why I cranked up the shutter speed from 1 50th to 1 640th. I kind of see different settings that people use for this. Some people crank it up to 1,000, 2,000. Some people only do 320. You know, it's all over the place. I haven't gotten a definitive answer. I'm gonna watch more videos on that this weekend. I'm usually not necessarily one to jump on the bandwagon of seeing some of these influencers, you know, plug and shit. But I have to admit, I'm incredibly intrigued by that PGY Tech mantis pod not that i don't like this ulanzi thing but i mean the mantis pod looks really intriguing it looks like it'd be pretty cool so i'm gonna give it a whirl and i ordered it today but it's gonna be i, I doubt if it'll even be here next week so i'm just not worried about it but that is coming when it gets here i will do a review on it and let you know what i think of it i don't know what do you think how's this all look how's this sound now throughout today i've done I don't know, sh several short little clips. I'd go home, I'd pull them off the camera onto the computer, and then I'd watch them. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this microphone. Once I got the settings correct in cam for it, since it wasn't so low, I, I think that just added to the tinniness. Now, the tinniness also could be a product of being in studio, because I've got all those bookshelves behind me. You know, maybe it just it just sounds that way because the way I have the, all that shit angled, all the sound is sort of like coming into me. I don't know. Either way, everything I've listened to that I have filmed since that first video that I put out all sounds better without any alteration whatsoever. So I'm beginning to think that once I set the camera up correctly and got the volume level adjusted right, that it sounds better and probably won't need any correction. We'll find out. I was also impressed with the fact that I did the test in the Forerunner with the windows down as I kept driving. And yes, it did pick up the road noise. It picked up all the vehicles outside, but you could still hear me very clearly. So it was able to, to single my voice out and make that sound pretty good. All right, kids. Thus endeth the whirlwind day of testing. I was able to, to get most places. I didn't go to the boardwalk. I'll get that this weekend. After I played with all the settings, after I got the audio fixed in cam for this microphone, after I watched all the videos, after I broke down like a whiny bitch, after all that said and done, I think it's all come together rather well. At this point, I don't really feel there's a need to test anything. Now I just need to continue to play. I think the audio sounds good. If it doesn't, I think I've got a handle on how to fix it. I think the video looks good. Yeah, I pretty much know what I'm doing enough that I can do what I've been doing, but I'd like to, you know, go forward and up, so I'll keep playing. I have to say, though, with Catalyst Browse, I don't know what frame rate to set it at, because I've heard everything, again, from like 320, 1 320th all the way up to like 1 2,000th. So I'm going to play. Other than that, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with the microphone, especially when I had it in the Forerunner with the windows down driving. Yes, you can hear the wind whipping past. Yes, you can hear the cars out there and all that kind of stuff. But you could still hear me clearly. Pretty impressive that it was able to single me out 
so that I sound decent. So that's it. That's it for the testing for now. Once I get the uh, Mantis pod, I'll play around with that, tell you all about it. This weekend, I do plan on packing up that bag, that Think Tank Mind Shift bag. I plan on sort of packing everything in there, heading back to at least uh, Pleasure House Point rather than State Park. I just, I just don't think I have time for that. I'm going to load that up with some stuff. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to do some birding. I think what I'm also going to do is, because I'll have both cameras with me, is I'm going to switch out this lens, this 16 to 35, and I'm going to put the 100 to 4 on it, and I'm actually going to film the birds rather than just take pictures of them and see how this thing does. But that's it. If you have any tips, suggestions, comments, whatever, as always, put them down below. But that's all I've got for you today. So, as always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.